Now, young people and boys and girls, remember last week we did the story of Noah's Ark? And I held up a number of pictures of animals. I wonder if you're able to remember them, but I've brought one with me again because I want to introduce you to this special animal. But before I do, I want to read from the scriptures. And it says in Song of Solomon chapter 2, in verse 12, the flowers appear on the earth. The time of the singing of birds has come and the voice of the turtle is heard in our land. Now, I'm thinking of a special bird at this time of the year. And I've got it with me. I wonder what it is. It's the robin. The robin. Did you guess that? This is the robin. Now, this uh, little bird is known. It's a lovely picture for robin. I was going to bring some mugs with robins. Uh, we have some in the kitchen. This is known as robin redbreast. And I want you to think of the sight of the robin because this really is Britain's favorite bird. And it's very well known and it's easy to spot. And if you look out your window and see one of these birds, you could say, look, mommy, look, daddy, there's a robin red breast. How do you know it's called robin red breast? Not just because you have been told by mommy or daddy that's a robin red breast, but you can see that it has got a red breast. Of course, there's an old wives tale. Now, I have to say, we don't believe this, children, but years ago, children were told how the robin red breast got its red breast. It was winter time. It was the ice age, and the birds were shivering in the cold. And one little bird that was on the top of the tree plucked off some sort of twig and decided that he was going to fly to the sun right into its face and say, Mr. Sun, would you please shine in the earth and give us some heat because we're really shivering. And the story is that he flew and got nearer and nearer and nearer and got hotter and hotter and hotter and the twig went in fire and then all of a sudden he fell back to the earth and whenever he woke up, he was still alive, but he had a red breast because the fire of the twig had burnt all his feathers. And from that, he had a red breast. Now, th that's an old wives' tale. We don't believe that, all right? Th that's, that's, that's like a, a folklore story that's told by parents to the children. How did the robin red breast get a red breast? Here's the answer. That's the way God made the robin red breast. And he was given the name Robin Redbreast by Adam way back, way back in the Garden of Eden when he gave names to all the animals. So you've got to think about the, the sight of uh, this bird, the sight of the robin. You can know it by its red breast. That's the way God made it. I'll tell you something else about the robin. Think about the singing of the robin. Do you know that the robin is a great singer? And the robin has two different songs. It's got a song for the autumn and the winter time. And it's also got a new song for the springtime. And in the autumn and winter time, you see, the robin becomes very unfriendly. And the robin likes to be by itself. And the robin doesn't care for anybody with it. It doesn't like to be in companies. You don't really see two or three robins together. If you do, you come and tell me. But in the wintertime, you usually see one by itself as you look out the window. And of course, the singing of the robin is very loud. And the singing of the robin is almost like that it's frightening away other birds. And certainly Mrs. Robin wouldn't be allowed near Mr. Robin uh, during that particular period. But in the springtime, the song changes. Now, it's singing all the year, but in the springtime, the song changes. It's got a new song, and it's sweeter. And of course, it's, it's, it's saying, welcome, glad to see you, and it's very friendly. I'll tell you something else about the Robin. Not just the sight of the Robin and the singing of the Robin, but, but you think about the, the showing of the Robin. You see, the robin has two natures, an old nature and a new nature. In the winter time, the old nature is displayed because it becomes, as I said, very unfriendly. It doesn't want anything to do with any other bird, not even Mrs. Robin. And 
in the springtime, it changes. And then it becomes welcoming and friendly and wants to have company. And it's not a picture of us, in a sense, because we too have been born with two natures. We were born with an old nature to do a sin. And we're inclined to that sin because the Bible says, for all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. And there's only one that can deliver us from that old nature and give us a new nature. And that's the Lord Jesus Christ. And whenever we're born again of the Holy Spirit, he gives us a new nature. We're born with an old sinful nature. But when we're born again of the Holy Spirit, he gives us a new nature. And remember the psalmist said in Psalm 40, verse 2, he hath put a new song in my mouth. And then you see, we become welcoming. We become very friendly. We're glad to have the company of others. And, and we're able to sing the new song of redemption. And maybe we should add one other thing. When you think of the sight of the robin, it's got a red breast. And you know, red stands for blood. And that reminds me of the blood sacrifice of the Lord Jesus. And what a wonderful thing it is to have a heart that's cleansed and covered by the precious blood of the Lord Jesus. So as God looks down from heaven, he sees you and he can call your name and he can say, that's one of my children. Not only a creature that I have made that's special, but that's one of my children whom I have cleansed in the precious blood. So I wonder, as you think about the robin red breast and you know its name, that's the way God made it. Has God made you a new creature by the application of the precious blood of the Lord Jesus? Are you able to sing the new song? Or are you among those that are uncaring and unfriendly in the world. There's so many people don't care about other people. The psalmist said, no man cared for my soul. And he experienced, and some people are like that because that's the way they are by nature. I hope you're not like that. I hope you're a new creature in Christ. Well, we'll, we'll set this here and um, you, you'll be able to come and, and take a look at this in a closer sense. Well, the Lord bless you.